Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally filming the long awaited fake freckle ultimate test. I'm literally trying every single fake freckle product that I know of on the market, um, including henna. So you guys don't have to. Um, sorry that my background's so boring. I've been traveling so much with COVID and just moving and going back and forth to Oliver's beach house and quarantining and everything. So I just decided that I would use a background. I only painted one nail for the time being because I just want to keep it kind of consistent for you guys. I also bought a traveling ring light. So that is why my lighting might look a little bit different. Um, I'm actually gonna put this on my Amazon link because it's a really great tool for those of you who are trying to start a YouTube on a budget. These are like the different lighting settings. So this is like cool daylight. This one's not my favorite. Um, you can also darken it like that. This is just natural lighting all the way up. And then this is the warm light one, which is my favorite. Um, so yeah, it was $35. It's got a full tripod and it holds your phone, which is what I'm currently filming on. Not sponsored, I just thought it was a very handy little tool. So yeah, and you can also plug it into your laptop to make it super portable. So I think it's a great little tool. Anywho, let's just get into the video. Okay, so I currently have, by the way, I think this is the first time you guys are seeing my haircut. Do you like it? I like it. I also got a few little highlights. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, that's my haircut. I actually had my mom go in and kind of touch it up a little bit because there were some pieces that were a little wonky. No offense to my hairstylist, but <laughs> anyways. So the products, sorry if you can hear Gertie, that I'm gonna be trying today are the Lottie London Freckle Tint. This retails for about $7 at Ulta. I got this shipped to me, so it costs a bit more, like 13, I think, with shipping. Then, of course, my tried and true Freck. Um, I love this product. I have an affiliate link with them, so it should be fun. <laughs> if you do wanna try it, the link is this for my code, but I will try not to let that bias me. Just kidding, I won't. Um, I've said for a long time that I do think Freck is a bit overpriced for the size of their product. The extra large is a bit better, but the little tiny bottle, personally, I have admitted before, I do not think it's worth it, but I do like the extra large size. So we'll see how they compare. These are actually the exact same bottle, just different coloring. Um, so that's interesting. We'll see how close they are. And then I'm trying some markers today um, from ColourPop and I got the two colors. I got the shade Soft Brown and Dark Brown. Gertie's coming to say hello. So I'll swatch those for you as well. So I guess we'll work our way up from cheapest to most expensive. How about that? So starting with the Lottie London, this was $7.99. The markers were $8, but this is still technically the cheapest. So just going off of packaging, this does feel more smooth than the Freck. The Freck has like a matte finish. Not that I really even care about packaging. I just care about the product itself. So this one rings in at $7.99 and there's only one shade. Same with Freck, although it is cruelty-free and vegan, which I'm actually not sure if Freck is. It doesn't have the bunny on it, so I will have to look at that. But that's always a plus. Um, that's really all I see. So just opening it up, it has the exact same applicator as Freck. Um, I have mixed feelings about this applicator. The marker is certainly easier because you don't have to go in and re-dip, but I like the stamping, the, like the natural effect of the stamping that this and Freck would give me. I haven't tried this yet, but yeah. I'm gonna do these on my hand and then I'm gonna have like little portions sectioned out on my face for each product so we can see how they all look side by side. So right off the bat, this is more orangey. 
than Freck, which I'm not complaining about. I kind of like how that can look, um, but it's definitely a lot more liquidy, not as much of a gel consistency as Freck. So this is how it looks um, color wise. And then I'm just gonna stamp with my fingers. This is how it looks on my skin. So it's definitely a thinner, more liquidy consistency. It's very natural. I mean, I like it. That's how it looks. So now we'll try it on my face. Currently I have um, still my tattooed freckles. Those are just never gonna go away. <laughs> just kidding, they'll fade after time, but I can't really take them off, so. I'm going to test this on my cheek right here, and then I'll do freck right here, and then the two markers here and here. So that'll be my sectioning. So let's try it on my face. I'm gonna do them very dramatic just for the sake of the video. So we can really see how they look. And I just like to take my middle finger and blot. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> I'm like looking in the mirror, it's very, very natural, almost to the point of where I really can't see them. It's a very thin product. I almost feel like you would probably, let me try layering it. Or maybe if I let it kind of dry more, it'll be thicker. I'll wait like 10 seconds before I start blotting it. Sometimes I do that with Freck too. It just makes them thicker and darker. Okay, so I feel like that might've helped a little bit. This is how they look. Check it out in the mirror. Still very natural. It definitely gives a freckled appearance, but I don't actually see any dots, if that makes sense. If you're on a budget, then maybe, I don't know. I'm, on, I'm honestly not that impressed. I'm not that big of a fan. Um, yeah. So we'll move on from that and now we'll talk about Freck. So this is Freck. <laughs> it has the exact same applicator. Um, if you can tell, the same little brush. So I'll just swash it on my hand. This has a more thick kind of gel-like consistency. The colors are pretty similar, I would have to say. It's honestly a little bit harder to pick up product with Freck, especially when it's getting low because it is thicker. So here's the color. It's also darker right off the bat, I can tell. Just like more thick, I don't know. So let me blot it in now. So there's Freck, this is the Freck. Much darker and more kind of defined. I'll also insert some B-roll here in like natural lighting of all the swatches once they're all on my hand. Um, and I'll also kind of test the waterproof ability of the products, which I think could be interesting. So definitely darker. So now let's put it on my face. <laughs> With Freck, you do have to work a little bit faster, I find, because if you let the gel dry too much, it can be really dark. And I'm gonna do the same with um, the Lottie London. I'm just gonna let it kind of sit for 10 seconds so that it can be thicker. I wanna use the same fair method. Okay, so here's Freck. Lottie London, Freck. Lottie London, Freck. 
these are definitely more defined even from far away i can just ooh, let me close these blinds the sun's coming out so i'm sorry if the lighting changed a little bit perks of natural lighting but this is freck as you can see it's a little bit more dark and more defined i would say this is more smudgy i guess is the word feathered maybe i don't know i like how even from far away you can still tell that this is freckles to me it just looks like i'm wearing bronzer over here so yeah let's move on to the color pop so these are obviously going to test the same but i just wanted to show you both colors on my skin tone because i always find that to be handy so i'll go in with soft brown in this quadrant of my face so the thing about markers, and that is what I used in my first and most popular fake freckle tutorial, is that they create a very uniform kind of freckle look. Like each dot is the exact same size, which it can be hard to make look natural. Um, you can't, and it dries like the instant it goes on your skin, so I can't really use the stamping method. But in a pinch, like, I like going for these on, um, days where I'm not going all out with the freckles, where I just want to fill in, like, some spots where my tattoo maybe has faded or things like that, so it's convenient for those days. If you kind of smudge it right off the bat, it does give a softer kind of appearance. Another thing about the markers I find is that you can't really, they don't last very long if you wear makeup underneath because the makeup absorbs into the marker tip and then it um, it's kind of like, kind of makes it dry out faster. I don't know why that's a thing, but that is something I have noticed. So like when I used to use the markers in, from NYX, they're now discontinued, but I would have to buy like three at a time. So, and I already, I've only used this twice and I can already tell that like the tip is drying out. Maybe if you stored them upside down, that would be different though. I don't know, they just don't last very long in my opinion. So here's how it looks. That is soft brown. Pretty cute. If you just use varying kind of, uh, what do you call it? Like pressure, then it makes some big and some smaller. That's kind of what I do to make them look more natural. Okay, so that's soft brown. And now we're gonna go in with the darkest one, which is dark brown and put that here. So these, this color I would say is definitely closer to what I have tattooed on my face, but it's quite dark. I feel like I got such a small amount of freckles that they kind of just pass as moles. So I don't mind them being darker, but if I were to get more, I would definitely opt for more of like a orangey tone that's a bit lighter. So, cause these look a bit dark in my personal opinion. But this could be a really good marker for those of you who have moles or beauty marks or things like that that you um, sometimes, like they get hidden under your makeup and you wanna make them show up again, this could be a really nice tool. So, oh, I didn't swatch them on my hand, I'll do that really quick. So here, is the darkest color as you can see it's very gray and very neutral toned and then so i definitely would say soft brown is a bit more up my alley this is soft brown so there's the quadrants of the freckles i'll insert my b-roll clip here of it and the natural lighting but um yeah let's just take one final look so color pop dark brown color pop soft brown freck and then lottie london what is it called freckle tint that is how they look 
I'm kind of glad to say that Freck is still my favorite, <laughs> even though it is the most expensive. Um, it just stands the test of time. I do really actually like the soft brown from ColourPop as well. I just prefer the stamping method. I'd have to like practice with the marker, but I do think this side looks pretty cute. It just looks, it reminds me of my first freckle video where all the freckles are very uniform and they don't look super natural. I think freck gives the most natural your skin appearance, if that makes sense. So yeah, that is all the freckle products that are temporary that just wash off with your makeup. But now I'm gonna go into trying some henna, which I think will be really fun. Um, I'm gonna show you, I've done this before actually, but I'll show you guys that whole process and the results of that. So I think that could be really fun. Okay, and then here is just my waterproof test. None of these products actually claim to be waterproof, but I just thought it would be a handy little thing to show you guys. So as you can see, they pretty much all washed off besides the markers and the freck I would stay, stayed put the most. Okay, so it's my time now. Okay, so this is the little henna packet. It's quite messy. Oh. Start applying this. It's probably not gonna be the best tutorial, but I'm just gonna start squeezing it onto my skin. It's a little bit messy. I found that the more wet and like big the dots are, um, the more likely the dot is to show up. So, like one time I did it with a bunch of really teeny tiny little dots, and that's when nothing showed up. So, I'll just add a few really big ones looks kind of nutty i know okay so that's enough big ones so now i'm just gonna start doing some detail though this is where i start kind of going fast because i find that like the longer amount of time i spend on the freckles the more like uniform they look if that makes sense i usually also kind of take them up in here because i just find that looks more natural i usually take it pretty close to my eye not like <laughs> <laughs> Gertie just fell. Um, I take it like as close as I can to my eye in like a safe manner. So here's how you should look. Um, it's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look crazy, but I promise um, the effects are worth it as long as you get good henna. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait eight hours. I'll check it after two since that's what the box says, but I'll probably end up sleeping in this and then I will show you guys the results. Okay, bye. <laughs> Look how big she's getting. My little sleepy baby. What the hair? Can I get it? No. She wants my eggs. Okay, you guys, so it is the next day. It is five o'clock, so it's almost been 24 hours since I had the henna on. I put it on at like eight yesterday, and I left it on until 12, and then I actually watched some videos on how to kind of make the henna work better since it's been so inconsistent for me, and I'll have her YouTube link down below, but this one girl I followed, which this made all the difference, I didn't no, because on the instructions on the henna, it just says take the henna off after four hours. I assumed that you took it off with water and like wash your face and that is why my freckles weren't showing up. It's because you're supposed to scratch it off. Gertie wants to go in the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear her meowing, but you're supposed to scratch them off and leave the residue on and let that and then not get your face wet for 24 hours. And then you will get these beautiful freckled results. So that's what I've been doing wrong and that's why it didn't work for me. So now this is probably something I'm gonna be using a lot because I really like the method and it was really easy and I just like how they look. I'll show you close up. It's very natural. Um, <laughs> Goody. You relax, dude. 
She wants me to open the door for her. I'm not going to. Um, I think now that I've figured out how to properly do the henna technique. <laughs> what? I'm trying to film a video. I really like how it turned out. I don't even know where I was. Oh, so now that I figured out how to kind of properly do them, um, maybe I'll make them a little bit smaller next time. I don't really mind the big ones because like they look cute to me still, you know, I like to be very dramatic with my freckles. But yeah, that was a good tip that I learned that really helped me with the henna freckles. So I hope you guys found this video really helpful. I know like I am always trying to find new freckle products and anything that I can to get that freckled appearance. I actually want to get my tattoos touched up again soon after COVID kind of goes away, which it probably won't. But um, anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and be sure to hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.